this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can connect multiple LEDs to an Arduino uh, without connecting them all on pin 13. So this video is going to compose of two parts, this in-person uh, looking at how we actually connect it, then also checking out what the code would be for that. So your standard Arduino, if you remember, we have, first off, our Arduino Uno. And we're going to take this LED, and we have a long end and a short end to the LED. It's always important to remember that this long end is always going to be your positive. So you will always plug that positive into whatever digital or analog pin you are using. Not ground into one of these digital pins. The short end is always going to be your ground. Now normally when we do our basic simple sketch we just connect the long LED into pin 13 and put the short LED into ground and then we program it to blink. But that doesn't always work. Sometimes we need to use this guy, the breadboard. Now the breadboard, if you remember, is composed of well, two main parts really. We have our interior here where all the lines run horizontally. Okay, and there's a break. Connect multiple LEDs, right? We want to connect multiple LEDs into this, but have them run on the same ground. The simple process is to make sure your short end is going into that minus sign there, and then your positive end is just plugging into those horizontal areas. Now, if you notice on mine, my negative is plugging into that same row, that blue row there, and my positive is plugging into different horizontal rows. Currently I'm on A2 and B6. I can plug in another one by simply, again, take to actually bend these. I have so many of them. It's perfectly fine to bend those. Right, now our next step is to connect these all together, and now you're probably thinking, but hey, I don't have that many wires, and that's okay. We can do this with a few wires, and it's not going to be an issue. The first thing we have to do is find a ground on our Arduino Uno. We have one located above 13, and two located ab uh, below the 5 volt. I'm going to simply plug in one of these wires, a male to male wire. I'm going to stretch it over to my Arduino board and I'm going to plug it into the ground underneath the 5. So that we are connecting our wires into the same spot that we'll have in our code. So my first wire is going to be plugged into pin 13. So I find pin 13 over here and I'm going to then connect it because remembering this middle portion here of our breadboard runs horizontally. I'm going to plug it in at the end so we can easily see it, but it's going to go into 2E. So 13 is running into 2E. 13. Right, so now if I had another wire, I could... last one I have available there, I would simply plug it in, we'll do that now, plug that into 11, and then run that over into 11E. Again, remembering that these are running horizontally instead of vertically. The way this is now wired up is I can control each individual LED with my code and have them all connected to the same ground wire, thus saving me some time. If you were to put this into, say, some sort of wearable tech, you could wire all of these up to the same ground wire. Now, what this is called in terms of making our uh, circuit is called a parallel circuit. Each one of these runs independently from the power source. So that means if, say, my first LED is broken, my second and third one can still work even though they're running off the same ground because they have a different power source from this first one. Let's go ahead and take a look at that code. 
All right, now that we have everything completely wired up, what we're going to do now is very simple. We're going to use our standard blink sketch, but we're going to modify it by a little bit to make our LEDs run. So the first thing we can do, instead of typing out that whole blink sketch that's like INT LED 13 and then doing the whole void setup, instead we're going to click File, we're going to go to Examples, we're going to choose Basics, and we're going to choose Blink. Now that we have our blink selected, we can see, if I move it right up here, uh, we can see it has pretty much everything that we need. We can make a few changes here, uh, and that is okay. So instead of using our built-in LED, I'm just making this a little easier to clean up. You can leave that stuff there. That's okay. So instead of having LED underscore built-in, I'm going to be changing this to 13. I'm also going to copy it by selecting it, pressing Control C, hitting Enter, and going Control V, Enter, Control V, and I will change one of those 13s to a 12, and the other to 11. So yours should read just like mine here on the screen. Now that we have this correct, let's go ahead and work on making these all blink. So the first thing I need to do is I'm actually going to uh, clear some of these notes on the side. We already know that high and low represent on and off in those corresponding orders. And now we can work. Now I have a little bit of a cleaner area to work with here. So I'm going to select this digital right to the delay of turning it on. I'm going to hit Control C. And then I'm going to hit enter and I'll go control V. I'll hit enter again and do control V. And much like what we did with the top portion in the void setup, I'm going to change it from LED built in to 13. I'm going to change the second one to 12. And I'm going to change this uh, last one to 11. So now what I'm saying is that uh, digital write 13 high is going to go on for one second and then it'll t uh, after one second turn on 12 and then after that second it'll turn on 11. Now if I wanted these to blink I would do the same thing here by selecting this digital write LED built in comma low. I'll copy that. Go right after it. Hit enter control V to paste. Enter again control V to paste change the built-in uh, LED to 13, 12, and the last one we will change to 11. Now I'm going to pause on the screen here so you can go ahead and take a look at what's written there to make sure yours is the same. While you're comparing yours to mine, uh, I also encourage, if you haven't done so already, plugging in your Arduino. Uh, if you are like me and you haven't set your Arduino to a specific one yet, um, or a specific COM port, you're going to have to wait a little bit of time for it to be recognized by your computer. But once that happens, make sure you click Tools, go to Port, change it to whatever it says. Mine says COM3, sometimes I'll say COM4, COM8. Just make sure you're looking for the one where it says Arduino on it. The other important thing, if you are working with say the Arduino LilyPad or the Arduino Mega instead of just the standard Arduino Uno, make sure you change that under board. Since we're working with the Arduino Uno, we're good to go. Now I can upload my sketch. It's going to compile it down here on the bottom. If it finds any errors, it will return those errors to me. This one, since it's a fairly simple program, took uh, really no time at all to get it started. Now let's go ahead and head back to our uh, in-person video to see how this operates. It's kind of cool watching it. Now, if you have followed all of the steps that I have laid out in this video, your Arduino will be doing the exact same as mine. If we wanted to change this, if maybe we wanted all of these LEDs to turn on at the same time, 
what we could do is get rid of these delays right after turning it on and then maybe get rid of the delays right after turning it off. If you wanted it to turn all of them on for say three seconds, get rid of that delay, get rid of this delay here, and then change this last delay after the last on to 3000. Same thing with turning it off. Get rid of that delay, get rid of that delay, and then change this one to be whatever you would like it. Try it out for yourself to see what happens. You can add multiple LEDs this way. Now, because of the Arduino Uno, you are only limited to uh, 14 ports. And I say that because we have 0 through 13, which is, in fact, 14 ports to work with. If you're working with the Arduino Mega, like I have here, you can add all the way up to 53 ports. Um, that's a lot of LEDs to work with. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.